guys, it's Michelle. So I am here today um, just to do a wee kind of chat with you guys um, in regards to headwear. So um, the reason that I wanted to do this is because of late, if you've watched my videos or you've seen my Facebook, my Instagram, you'll probably be like, why is she going on about this purity headwear by Massimi? Why is she going on about it so much? Is she working for them? What's she doing? Blah, 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 blah. So here's the story, guys. Basically, I was sent samples of Purity Headwear by Massimi to try. Just to try, see what I thought of it. So I've never been one to opt for headwear as a first choice. Um, I've got alopecia, so I, like, I've kind of got makeup all over half my tattoo. Um, I don't have any hair. So I basically, generally day to day, um, I may go out with a wig on or sometimes I'll just go out like this. At the moment I'm in Scotland, it is super cold, so generally I would wear a wig. Um, headwear for me in the past was always something that if I wanted to wear a hat, I'd wear it over a wig. Um, to just go bald headed with a scarf or like a hat or some sort of hair loss headwear, any sort of headwear at all, for me it was always a case of I only did that if I was kind of feeling I want to cover up but my skin is so bad that I can't, I physically can't tolerate wearing a wig. So that's me, headwear was never a first choice. So, um, probably, it was about a month ago maybe, I tried some Purity headwear just to see what it was like. Now, I have tried other brands in the past as well that are designed for people with hair loss and yeah, and I have bought cheaper things online so anyway, end of the day, I tried Purity and I kind of thought I'll go in with an open mind. It's not going to convert me to being somebody who only wears headwear. And I want to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm not somebody who will only wear 100% of headwear all the time. However, I am now somebody who will think I want to wear some headwear today instead of a wig. I'm a wee bit shocked that I'm like that because I didn't expect to be that way. I kind of thought if it's comfortable then I can tell people that who do wear headwear so that they know this brand is good and it's comfortable and I was fine with that because I wanted to be honest likewise if I didn't think much of it like I would just not really I wouldn't go recommending however I kind of feel like in a lot of ways my mind was blown purely because um, the comfort of the headwear, it's like second to none, honestly, the comfort, the styles I find are, they're amazing because they're quite, I don't want to say, I don't mean plain, they are understated elegance, I think is probably how I would describe it. They're very beautiful, very feminine, without being over the top designs in your face. Like there is the Primrose style, which is just very, um, it's kind of ruched. Um, and it has this kind of flower type design on it. Honestly, it's gorgeous, but it's not a big flower sticking out. It's not really in your face. The material is just amazing. It's just, oh my goodness, the colors are gorgeous. The quality when you feel the material, it is absolutely phenomenal. I love the choices that they offer, um, I love the kind of, they've got this style called Yana, which is more versatile, it's like a cap with a scarf and you can style the scarves in different ways to make it more of a personalised look to yourself. Anyway, regardless, I wanted to do this video because in the past I was, um, I was of the opinion that I was just like, I don't want to spend 20, 25 pounds on something to put in my head when I can go onto one of these auction sites like eBay or I can go to Amazon or I can go to one of these kind of shopping places online and I can order from another country and have something shipped in for me that is maybe two pounds, three pounds. I can go to a seller online, even in the UK, I can buy hat or some headwear for £15, £10, I'm not spending £25, that is how I always was. Now, I, I'm i not going to start naming kind of where I bought stuff and whatever else because 
there's no need and like depends on what you're looking for basically with me I've got alopecia I also have eczema now I don't have any patches of eczema flared up at the moment however my scalp is so painful right now it's really sore although you physically can't actually see anything sometimes it does actually break open it and it's really not very pretty um but just it's, it's so sensitive and i know that some people with hair loss are in the same situation um for whatever reason whether you've lost your hair post medical treatment like after chemotherapy and are struggling with the kind of damage to your skin and or whether you've got alopecia and the pain, like when your hair sheds, or just in general irritation or whatever, um, or if you have kind of thinning hair, no matter what it is, you know, like for me, comfort is a massive thing, whether it's comfort with a wig, comfort with um, headwear, comfort in general, you know, it's really, it's, it's a big thing for me. So what I wanted to do is show you a couple of things. I don't know if you can see this, drawer here it's disgusting how much stuff i have that's a drawer full of head scarves of hats now some head scarves i have in there have been like two pounds or so and come from the other side of the world and i've had to wait for weeks for shipping they've come and they are lovely they're really pretty they're not comfortable against my scalp um which kind of defeats purpose because i'm generally wearing like a head scarf or a hat for me in the past it was always just something to wear when I was too sore to wear a wig but wanted to cover up. So yeah it was a bit daft. Um, then I thought I know what I'll do, I'm not spending £20 but I will spend £10, I'll spend £15 and I'll buy this scarf or that scarf, I'll try this hat and then I've bought kind of like the designer turban type ideas that come um, from places in the UK that are handmade. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. However, a lot of the time I find that they are designed for, you know, people who have a full head of hair or like don't have skin problems, don't have hair loss and it, you can still wear them with hair loss. You can still wear them, you know, like I do. I have worn them um, and they're beautiful. But, you know, I've actually spent £27 on this turban I bought that had a kind of gem thing on it, which was gorgeous, absolutely stunning. But it was so uncomfortable and irritated my skin. Now, what I want to do is show you, like, basically, this drawer here, these drawers here, I probably have spent maybe two to three hundred pounds on scarves and on hats um, which I can't wear because they're not comfortable. <laughs> so I have a huge collection of headwear that I can't use and now I realise that instead of buying like a hundred items at two pounds, I would be better buying ten items at twenty pounds that I can actually wear instead of having a drawer full of things that I can't wear and I can't use. So anyway, it's taken me like eight minutes to actually get to this. I wasn't sure exactly what part to focus on most because my brain is a bit bonkers. <laughs> Bananas. And I'm just sitting here with like no hair on, no headwear on. That's fine. This is what I do. Like if I wear hair, I wear it for me. If I wear headwear, I wear it for me. If I want to go bald, I will go bald and go natural. Um, but guys, let me just show you something. So. I have not picked a branded item because I don't want to be slating brands. It's just, it's, it's not right. It's not right at all. Anyway, this is unbranded. This is beautiful. This is a turban that I bought online probably about a year ago. Now, I bought this and I thought it's so pretty. And what I'm going to do with it is for when I want to be a bit michelle and crazy and do my own thing, I want just a plain turban and instead of spending £25 on a pre-designed fancy turban I'm going to buy just the plain turban itself. This is it. I maybe paid, I can't remember, about £4 maybe say for this turban and I thought yeah it's beautiful, it's lovely, it's velvet and I can dangle a brooch off the front of it. Yes, you can, I have. So I then bought a brooch for three pounds or so so for say about less than 10 pounds i had this fancy turban with a brooch that i would dangle off the front that's not everyone's taste i absolutely get that's totally fine um 
so yeah I thought that's kind of like quite cheap that's quite good so um yeah and then actually I'm doing it just now already I'm scratching sorry it's just that's my skin it's so bad so it is beautiful quite soft um I had a navy blue one like this but I washed it and it fell apart <laughs> I hand washed it and it, it didn't it didn't survive anyway so it does look nice, it does. Now the inside of this, let me show you, this is just a generic, non-branded. Now if you have hair or whatever, I'm sure this is fine. See all your seams here? This irritates living daylights out of my head because I don't have hair. Um, that's rubbing against my scalp. The material is not particularly grand. It's well made, it is well made. It's not made for people with hair loss in mind isn't always an issue whether something is or isn't um however this is what I got so yeah it's pretty it's nice it looks good it does the job if I wanted to wear it over a wig yeah it's great so this is your kind of generic thing this is what you'll get if you see things kind of like this is very very well made for something that kind of four or five pounds it is very well made Generally, I bought things that like were bounds online and they've come and oh my goodness, like it's it's frightening how bad they are. But you do get good things as well. So like, yeah, it's well made. However, just because it's well made, it's very, if you can see, it's, it's, it's totally kind of flimsy, see-through. It's very, it's not the best quality of material, but for four pounds, you have a fully made hat. So what can you kind of expect sort of thing? Right, so I have a whole load of these sort of ideas for this kind of price. Now, this here is called the Rosalind, and it is by Purity Headwear by Massimi from the Silky Line Collection. Now, you'll probably think that looks nothing like that other um, turban. I'm just going to give you a wee show of this. Let me pop it on my head. This is from the Silky Line Collection. Now, this is the kind of turban style. And... It is luxurious kind of silky soft cotton with like last. it's 95% cotton and 5% elastane basically so it has your stretch it's called the silky line collection this comes from now it has all this ruching here like the other one you could see the kind of pattern on it this has all your ruching here now there's plenty plenty space in here so if you had hair you could wear this if you have a super big head you can wear it if you have a smaller head it's made so that you can you can do this <laughs> now what i often do with my rosalind the comfort factor first of all first of all the comfort in this compared to the comfort in my cheaper cap it is amazing and i'm sure you might be sitting there at home thinking um, yeah, I would hope so when you're going to be spending extra money on it. It should be more comfortable. Yeah, you're right. It should be. Because um, part of what I'm paying for is comfort. Um, however, not just comfort. It's not just comfort for like just now when I put it on. Um, you kind of forget you're wearing it. Whereas with this, don't get me wrong, it's not horrendous. It becomes, with me, it becomes horrendous after a while because after a while on me, my skin starts to flare up. So what I would have done before with this was stick a wee, a wee dangly on. It's beautiful. I do that on this as well, actually. <laughs> I love this. This is my kind of thing. I keep saying it's my signature look. It's not me that's invented this kind of idea. However, um, this is my, yeah. I go out wearing things like this. My teenage daughter thinks I'm crazy however I do I would advise if you're putting a brooch onto your hat don't do it on your head you should stab yourself so there you go yeah if you want to customize it you absolutely can like me because I like this I know this is not what everybody likes I know this is not to everybody's taste I know lots of you'll be watching this thinking this girl's a bit bonkers and crazy and that's okay this is just the kind of thing that I like to do anyway the Rosalind as it let me take this off as it comes. Now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, right, Michelle, so what you have said to us already is with this, obviously you have these nice kind of patterns here, but on the inside, you're saying that the seams bother you, so why are you wanting something that has all this ruching here? Well, what I'm gonna do is take this off and show you. Put it inside out. It has, obviously this is your outer side. Inside you have this, it's like a lining type of layer. 
Now, sorry, I apologise, my makeup is all over this. Oh my goodness, I'm bad. <laughs> so the stitching is all done that it's kind of stitched in the inside against itself. So it doesn't irritate you, it doesn't rub against you. Now all that ruching is on the other side of here. Sorry, my foundation is all over my hat. That's the thing, when I've got no hair, I'm like, okay. So most people stop their foundation at their hairline, obviously. Whereas I don't have hair, so I'm just like, makeup, <laughs> all over, do the full head. <laughs> um, yeah, so my headwear does end up with foundation inside it. But um, yeah, the point I'm making here is it's super soft, it's lined. Now it is highly absorbent and amazing. So this is the Silky Line collection. Now Purity Headwear, just now, at the time of me making this video, um, they do, this is the 95% cotton with 5% elastane. Although it's cotton, like different cottons, and I don't know if it's the way it's I don't, spun, I don't actually know to be honest with you, um, I am not a big master in the knowledge of all these things, but I've had cotton that doesn't feel so often, I've had this cotton which feels like silk. Purity Headwear by Massamy also make bamboo headwear. I personally am a bit of a lover of bamboo, however, this feels the same. I know that bamboo is more absorbent. I understand that kind of thing. I do love bamboo. This is honestly the softest stuff I've ever felt in my life. It is actually amazing. Um, it is. And so for like, although you might go, oh well, that's like four or five times the price of what I can get online. Look at what you're getting online. Are you getting the same quality of material? Are you getting a design that's been made for somebody um, that like that needs what you need for somebody with hair loss? Um, is it made with a view to being comfortable against your scalp? Will it not be irritating? Will it be absorbent when it's hot weather? Will it keep it a bit warmer in the cold weather? Um, is it variable size that it's not going to cause create pressure on your head, pressure points, um, but still be snug enough to conform? and fit well there's a lot of these kind of factors and when you think about it you think about everything that's used to create something like this um you kind of get what you pay for so sometimes it's worth having maybe two pieces of headwear that you will wear often rather than having five six seven pieces for the same price that you'll pop on but have to take off due to discomfort. It's, yeah, for me, if you're if you're wanting to wear something on your head, don't get me wrong, I go out totally bald, I go out hair free. I know that lots of people with hair loss don't do that and don't even want people to know that they have hair loss. That's absolutely fine, it's very personal. Um, I have gone through a lot of emotional struggles with it myself and how it makes me feel in adjusting to having a different appearance. Um, and I just think you need to feel comfortable in yourself and feel happy and content. Now, for me, I never saw head... I've seen other people wearing headwear and I know um, people who either kind of wear headscarves or hats all the time that are not wig fans and um, they look gorgeous but for me when I wore headwear I never felt pretty I never felt feminine I never felt I just felt like it was a last resort when I couldn't tolerate a wig but wanted my head covered you know I don't know if you know what I mean but yeah for me that's exactly how it was um, I never felt pretty Whereas now that I have discovered the Purity Headwear by Massimi, this is actually a really big thing for me. Like, I do feel pretty wearing it. I feel nice. It's not a backup option for me. It's an alternative first option for me. Um, so, yeah, if I want that to be my first option and I now think, yeah, I like how that looks, what's the point in liking how it looks and it's not comfortable? You know what it's like. You, if you, you Don't get me wrong. I'm sure we've all done it as ladies. I've gone out or maybe it's just me being crazy, I'm wearing this one today, it's so pretty, um, I've gone out and I have um, bought shoes which kill me and I hate them and I can't wear them and they are ridiculously uncomfortable but they're just so pretty but then I'm like I need to get off my feet, I need to get off my feet 
and you can like sit down and rest your feet if you do it with shoes. You can pop your feet under a table and people don't see and you can hide them. That's fine. But if you think about it, if you've got something on your head and you have that discomfort just to kind of tolerate it looking nice, you're either going to go through a day feeling super uncomfortable and struggling in yourself and that's horrible. It's horrible to be so self-aware in such a kind of negative way and and have that worry. If it's your shoes under a table, you can take them off, you can rest your feet. If something's on your head and it's not comfortable and yet you you want to keep your head covered, you're either going to be sitting there totally aware and uncomfortable and not feeling good about yourself or like, yeah, it's just, it's not good. It's not good. Now, with, mo with so many things in life, you do get what you pay for. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, like, if you go spending 10 times the amount of this, you'll get something even better. Um, you know, within reason. But just, like, things to think about. People said to me in the past, there are so many people out there, sellers on eBay, on Amazon, they put the word chemo headwear, they put alopecia headwear, um, they put chemo, alopecia or cancer in front of the name of some sort of hat and all of a sudden it's bumped up by five times the price, it's ten times the price, blah blah blah. Don't get me wrong, there are people out there who will sell things like this for three, four pounds, which is very good, very good quality um, for that price. It is. For three pounds? that's not bad however if you then want something that's going to be comfortable all day it's not going to cause pressure it's not going to make you totally self-aware and feel awful you're not going to be sweating in it it's not going to move around in your head it's going to be lined it's going to have that extra workmanship put into it things like the way it's stitched the seams being stitched a certain way these are all wee things i'd never thought of before and when you think about that level of workmanship um, and the kind of quality of fabric that's being used in these products then you can kind of see why it does cost extra. Now obviously it's very much up to yourself. This is just my personal opinion, it's my personal thinking. I don't know if you're in the position I used to be in whereby you kind of, like I do, I listen to what everybody says, I take advice from so many people and I'm kind of like if somebody says something to me and they've had alopecia for 10 years and I'm brand new to it, then yeah, I'm going to listen to them. So I'm not going to even look at these um, other pieces of headwear. Why would I look at purity headwear? Now, I am not saying for one minute, don't listen to people, do listen to people. And I'm not saying take what I say as like, the word of God. It's not. It is Michelle's opinion. That is all it is. It's my opinion on a product, but it's a product I believe in. I am not being paid to tell you guys this. I am not being told what to say. This is my free speech. This is my opinion on a brand which I believe in because I have now kind of gotten, it's really funny, gotten to know um, Ali, who is the owner of Avocino, who own Purity Headwear by Massimi, um, and Anna, and Anya, I speak to regularly in message now, it's really weird, um, and she's amazing, such an amazing, amazing woman, and so lovely and so beautiful, and wants, she wants to know the opinion of people like me and like you out there, what do we want? What do we want from headwear? What do we like? What can they improve on? You know, and just wants honesty and had said to me that, you know, you, like they'll use these videos. I do this for my channel, but they'll do this, like upload the same video to their channel. Um, and I'm not told to say a specific thing. I don't have to say a specific thing. And she's like, just be honest. So I'm being honest and I think, Often, so many of us in this world are so, it's so easy to criticise and sometimes we take for granted good things and we forget to give praise where it's due. Now for me, um, yeah I love purity headwear, um, I've spoken to Anya and she's asked my opinion on different things and there are things that they want to do to improve the brand, improve the products. There are a couple of suggestions that I've made which may be good, may be bad. You know, we all look for different things. However, what I would say, um, they care. Now, to me, that's a massive thing. It is a massive thing. And what I, what I kind of want to do as well, just while I'm in this whole, I'm thankful for people kind of made, um, simply wigs. 
as a company, Simply Wigs, Stock, Co.uk, Ship Worldwide. They sell many brands of wigs. They send the Purity Headwear. Sell the Purity Headwear by Massimi. Um, they are an amazing brand. They care. Emma and Stuart Garrard that own Simply Wigs, they care. They care about their customers, about their clientele. Purity Headwear care about their customers. Another stockist in the UK of Purity Headwear is a girl that I have come to know who also has alopecia. Her name is Carly Barrett. Now Carly owns a company called Alicans Hair Loss Solutions. She was just kind of driven to start this up to help people going on the experience she's had with alopecia and she has now seen the Purity Headwear by Massimi and loves it too. Simply Wigs, I believe they love it too. Now Alicans Hair Loss Solutions, Simply Wigs, Purity Headwear. These are three brands which I love, I believe in. I just think they're absolutely phenomenal. They are, they are. So anyway guys, I've spoken for 25 minutes and all I wanted to do was go, look at this gap, look at this gap, can you tell the difference? Um, yeah, so it's become a wee bit of a chat. I talk too much. If I do talk too much, if this is just ridiculous, Comment down below and tell me, in a nice way, please in a nice way. If you like this video, give a wee thumbs up, give a wee follow on, um, if you're a social, me social media bunny, keep saying this, social bunny, um, you can follow Purity Headwear at Purity Headwear on Instagram, on Twitter, and you can like the page on Facebook for Purity Headwear by Massimi, and that would be so much appreciated. If you want to know who your local stockist is, or where is close to yourself, if you drop an email, information will be down below um, in the description bar, info at purityheadwear.com. So I am Michelle and um, it has been lovely. What I will do, if you're on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel, subscribe to me as well and feel free to give me a follow on Instagram. Um, if you're on the Purity Headwear channel just now watching this, then guys definitely follow Purity Headwear. I will link my own channel down below. If you want to hear more of my nonsense chat and my reviews on things, then feel free to go have a wee look. Whatever you like, it's absolutely fine. So let us know what you're thinking, guys. If there's anything you want to know, anything you want to see. This one here that I've popped in my head now, I don't actually know if I said, this is actually the Yana and this is light brown floral. So this is more of a chiffon scarf that comes with this and I'm kind of feeling it today. I actually, <laughs> I actually went and got my clothes to match my headwear because I was adamant this is the headwear I was wearing today so guys thank you I've actually gone and got a backdrop I have a backing so that you don't see messy bedroom in the background um however I've just got <laughs> that sounded weird however I've just gotten rid of the light that I had so I am waiting on some proper lighting coming I am hoping when the lighting comes we can do some proper chats and let you see things a wee bit better, more clearly, and some good daylight, and um, yeah. So in the meantime, I'll be back with you guys soon, but thank you so much for watching again and listening to why I love purity, the difference in caps. Just a wee thing, but nevertheless, there we go. Um, and at the risk of making this run on for far too long, the likes of your, just while I'm thinking, I have a hat here now, in Scotland that's been freezing so like there that's the inside of a standard cap right wool knitted for me with sensitive skin it can be slightly irritating to my little scalp here's one of the purity headwear items of winter headwear and look super soft fleece lined but you still have that nice chunky knitted look on the outside but on the inside you have that lovely fleece that's a bye bye, but just to show you another product comparison, and that was like a, a cheaper product that cost from abroad. I bought this in, and this product cost six pounds. So the other one was three times price, but much more comfortable. But anyway, there we go, guys. Right, I am going to go now, so speak to y'all soon. Bye.